Welcome to Write in the Pickle Barrel, a writer's journey. Hello and welcome. Oh, shit. Try this again. <laughs> it's been a while since we've done like a new one, so it feels weird. Uh, everything I say, I want to say parachutes. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Eric. And I'm Justin. And welcome to Write in a Pickle Barrel, a writer's journey. On this show, what we'd like to do is share with you guys how you can go from no story to the story you've always wanted to write. We're going to talk about the processes and, of course, how you can go about publishing your story, your book, your short, whatever it is, your screenplay even. But on today's episode, what we want to do, because this is kind of our introduct introductory episode, we want to just tell you a little bit about ourselves and about the show as a whole going forward. So, Justin, my co-host over here, I'm going to hand it over to him to kind of give a little backstory as to who he is uh, and what he does in terms of his writing uh, process. Yeah, well, I'm a fictional writer. I've been writing since as far as back as I can remember. People always ask me, you know, how when did you know you wanted to be a writer? I don't think anybody really knows they want to be a writer until they get older or or up there in age. And so when I was younger, I always was writing uh, poetry, short stories, uh, even just spoken stories. And I remember in grade school that we had to write and illustrate our own book. And I remember getting chosen to go to, I don't know what it was, but it was basically to showcase the, the best books that came out of this project that we were doing in school. So from that memory on, I can always remember either telling stories, writing stories, writing poetry, et cetera. I have since moved away from poetry. It's not my bag. It was just something that I kind of did. In 2017, I self-published my first book, The Legendary Creature Project, The Griffin. Uh, this was actually a very huge stream in the making because I had kind of started this story when I was in high school. Uh, it changed drastically from that story to the story that I actually wrote and published because I did not have any uh, data from from the previous story because I had lost it because that was the golden age of floppy disks. And now who knows where that story is now? And I have since published my the sequel to that book, The Legendary Creature Project, The Worm, W-I-R-M. If you don't know what that is, Google WIRM, you will find different mythologies on the worm. I've also had several short stories published in the anthologies of the Bizman Writers Guild, which is a nonprofit in North Dakota where I live. Um, the, the three anthologies, if you guys are curious, is A Nightmare's Testimony, The Mythology Anthology, and Seasons in the Dark. And... I've written several short stories since then, have kind of started a couple of different novels, novelettes. I'm not really sure what they're going to turn into yet, but haven't finished anything else other than those short stories that I have so far. I haven't really started anything new except for the beginning of the third book in the Legendary Creature Project, and that is going to be the last book in this trilogy. Hmm. And as for me, my name, as I'd said earlier, is Eric. And my writing, uh, I guess my writing path began early on as well, also uh, in middle school and really started to take uh, take front stage in high school when I would write short stories and essays. Uh, I became very good at it. I was pretty much failing all of my classes minus English and writing uh, where I just kind of flourished. So I had spent after high school a lot of time not writing anything. And in 2012, uh, 2013, 
I had this idea for a sci-fi movie and I was getting really interested in just movies in general. So I started writing a script uh, and I, I wrote an outline for a script because at the time I didn't really know how to write a script. So I wrote an outline for a script uh, and then I decided to jump into film school. And so I went to film school, learned how to write a script uh, right out of film school. I wrote my first feature uh, oh, technically is my second feature uh, called Bray. Uh, my first feature we won't talk about because it was it was a test, you know, to see <laughs> what exactly was gonna, you know, how to do it. Uh, so it's there. I could probably work on it and make it something, but it's on the back shelf. But my first script was Bray, and this was something that was like my baby. I spent years thinking about it. I had written maybe two or three pages for school once uh, for an online screenwriting class that I took, and just kind of put it on the shelf. And then one day I. Just I knew it. I knew the ending. I knew everything. And I sat down for seven days uh, straight and just, you know, 83 pages, 86 pages later, uh, you know, I had a full polished script and, you know, I sent that out to various uh, film festivals, screenplay festivals, got a couple of hits where they were it was nominated. Um, <clears throat> didn't win anything, but that's OK, because as a writer, the goal is to learn from your writing mistakes progress get better and then submit something else and so i ended up moving on to this script called the obscured this was something i actually wrote in college i kind of brushed it up sent it out and i ended up placing uh or at least i i, I should say was i i uh, was nominated as one of the special entries in the nashville film festival uh where i was invited to go I was runner up, uh, so it was really cool uh, to, to, to you know to to kind of experience that and realize oh my there's something here like I I have some sort of skill in my mind you know like I something's here that I can tell a story and people would like it so when I left there I ended up writing yet three more features uh, Rudolph is my most recent I wrote one called the Duplex uh, which is more of a thriller i tend to focus more on horror slash suspense and then a grand handful of short films as well short screenplays uh, both in the narrative side of things but also commercially uh, i have a small production company that i've been working on some stuff and wrote and filmed uh, that way <clears throat> but then i also do short stories i'm currently working on a novel uh, and I've written a number of short stories that have been published along with Justin's um, Writers Guild primarily a few years ago. Uh, and then aside from that, just, you know, I, I'm more of a uh, enthusiast when it comes to writing short stories. It's something I like to do occasionally, but screenplays is really where the meat is for me. Uh, but yeah, so that's where I kind of stand. So... I know a lot of people are asking, you know, why are you guys doing this? What What is the point of this? Why share you, your journey with us, as in our listeners? A lot of people tend to be solitary animals as a writer. Uh, it's something that I've come to learn and grow into and learning that it, it's just a thing. Uh, but when you band together with other writers and listen to other people's journeys, I think it's room for inspiration. It inspires other people to just get down and dirty and start doing what they should be doing as a writer. If that is what you're feeling you want to do. And um, I think this is a way for us to guide people into the, not the right and the wrong, but the mistakes and the triumphs that we have had in order for people to see that it, it, you, you can succeed even when you fail. It, it's a learning process. Like Eric brought up in his introduction, you know, one of the biggest things that I find fascinating is when I submit a story to any type of contest, you get feedback. And nine times out of 10, it's going to be constructive criticism. They try not to tear you down, but 
try to point out the flaws in your story. So I think that's something that we really want to accomplish here on our show, too. Right. And, you know, the other thing is we want to and and don't get me wrong, success is success. And what that means to you is entirely up to you. And we right. kind of want to take what we've learned over the years and kind of help alter your state of mind, because I think so many of us, Justin and I included, believe initially believe that success is something that's a, obtainable in a sense of financial status or recognition and things like that. And that's not always the case. You know, success is completing a small goal toward like, which is a step toward the bigger goal, right? Success is maybe writing that short story or that poem and then just putting it away. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to submit it and get clarification that it's good. Uh, it's what you're doing and what you feel. Uh, but, you know, th there's various instances or different types of success. And we're going to discuss that over the course of this series uh, of this show. Um, but also a lot of what we're going to teach you doesn't just come from us. It comes from th things that uh, things and people that we've learned from as well over the years. Uh, you know, I've got a number of professors, writers that I've talked to, screen, screenplay writers who are regularly working in the industry, selling screenplays, making movies, uh, authors that we've talked to over the years who write dozens of books per year in some cases, you know. Uh, so we're going to not only share some of their insights, but we're going to bring some of those people on to the show with us so they can tell you firsthand their experiences, their falls, their failures, but also their successes. Because the point of all of this is to help you realize that in order to succeed, you have to fail. Sex, you know, you, you just have to fail in order to, to succeed. And we're going to show you how to get past that failure. Because I think so many of us, myself included, we fail once, we don't want to try again. It's just like, boom, throw it in the towel, done. Uh, but that's how that that's how you don't become a writer. That's how many people become the quote unquote failed writer. We're not here to have you fail. We want you to succeed. Uh, and then on top of that all, we are also going to be learning in the process and working on our own thing together uh, to kind of show you guys that we're going through this motion as well. So we're all going to do this together. Absolutely. So before we get into the next part of the show, which is going to be kind of talking about what writing goals you can set your, for yourself, what we want to accomplish for ourselves through this podcast and all that good stuff, we're going to take a break and we will be right back right after this. Hello and welcome back. So before the uh, our commercial, we were talking about just our goals for you, a little bit of information about our credits and who we are. But now we want to kind of get into how you can basically uh, start writing your next story. You know, because that's the whole point. There's no point in you listening to this whole episode without us giving you some sort of pointers right off the bat, because that's what that's what everybody wants. They want the good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, but before we go ahead and do that. I do want to mention that one of the things uh, that Justin and I are going to be doing during the course of this entire uh, show is writing our own book, a co-authored book together, a novel, which is something we have not done before. Now, we have hosted multiple shows together and separate. We've collaborated for years. Um, I mean, how, what, it's been how many years that we've collaborated at this point or we have been collaborating together? Uh, well, for podcasting, it's been 14 years, and 14. in that time as well, we have tossed back and forth uh, ideas about our own works, uh, helped each other with our, our works by reading through stuff. You have mm -hmm. edited some of my stuff for me, and it's one of those things where it's grown to the point, and I've, I've never co-authored a book before, ever, ever, ever. And I know you haven't either, but I know of people who have done it and loved it. And I know of people who've done it and absolutely hated it. And right. I know of people that were like, oh, it was OK. You know, I probably would never do it again type of thing. Right. So this is the way I like to think about. It. So one of my favorite authors and probably many of you as well is Stephen King. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, if. 